Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about drift and resistance and the effect of temperature. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Drift and resistance. The resistance of the bar in, in the figure you can see that a semiconductor bar is shown where the resistance of the bar is given as R is equal to rho L by Wt. That you can write it as in terms of that is rho, uh, rho you can uh, write in terms of 1 by sigma. So the equation will get changed to L by omega t into 1 by sigma. The direction of the conventional current is the direction of the flow of the opposite charges. So here you can see that the electric current that is whole motion is in this direction towards right and electron motion is towards left. And uh, here we have given an electric field E uh, and the uh, current will flow through this direction electron motion will be in this direction and the width of the uh, bar semiconductor bar that is given as W and L is the length and T is the thickness. So the holes flow along the direction of E hence they create a current in the direction of E. So uh, holes will be moving in the in this direction and it will create a current. Uh, and the holes that are similar to the positive charges and the electron drift will be in the opposite direction to that of E. Uh, so uh, because electrons is having a negative charge and the current due to this is also in the direction of the E. So the drift current of both electrons and holes is along the direction of the applied field E and the drift current is constant throughout the bar. The effect of temperature and doping on mobility. There are two basic types of scattering mechanism that influence the mobility of the electrons and holes. The two types are lattice scattering and impurity scattering. So in lattice scattering, a carrier that is moving through the crystal that is scattered by the vibration of the lattice. Whenever there occurs some vibration that is resulting from the temperature. If temperature increases, there occurs some vibration in the lattice and due to that vibration, the carrier moving through the crystal that will be scattered. And the frequency of such scattering events increases as the temperature increases. So there will be a thermal agitation uh, of that lattice that will get increased. The mobility decreases as the temperature increases. So when temperature starts increasing, the mobility will get decreased. So this is important in the intrinsic type of semiconductors. So this type of scattering is called lattice, lattice scattering. Next is impurity scattering. Uh, so in the figure you can see that uh, impurity scattering and the lattice scattering. Uh, so here the impurity scattering means it is for the doped semiconductors and it is caused by the crystal defects such as ionized impurities. So at low temperature the carriers move more slowly so there is more time for them to interact with the charged impurities. As a result the temperature decreases, impurity scattering increases and mobility of the electrons and holes that will also get decreased. So this is just the opposite of the lattice scattering and the mobility due to uh, this two or more scattering mechanisms that add inversely. So that is 1 by mu which will be equal to 1 by mu 1 plus 1 by mu 2. So uh, impurity scattering and lattice scattering. Hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful you can share it with others. Thank you.